Hi boys and girls, mom and dads, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reading a theatrical reading presented by the Babylon Village Arts Council. It's the American classic written by Clement C. Moore. And most people don't know that Mr. Moore wrote this when I awoken him one night on a Christmas Eve many, many years ago. And it's been a classic since. Today, let's read It Was the Night Before Christmas. When all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Well, the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas, <laughs> that's me, soon would be there. <laughs> the children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, I tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Whoa, but to my wondering eyes should appear, oh, a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. He started to call the reindeer by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Oh, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the house top, the couriers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and Saint Nicholas too. Whoa, oh, then I heard, in a twinkle, I heard the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. His clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, <laughs> his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and his beard on his chin was white as snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly. <laughs> that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and a right old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and the twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. The laying of a finger aside his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, he gave a whistle. Away they all flew like the down of a thistle. I heard him explain as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Thank you everybody for joining me. Merry Christmas everyone.